Hello, my name is Walter Graff and thank you for joining me on this part four of a 16 part program on species of North America. This week we'll be studying the North American geek, one of North America's most enigmatic and mysterious of mammals. Join me, won't you? The root word of geek comes from the old Irish geck, which were carnival folk known for biting the heads off of chickens. The geek in the last five centuries has moved on from being a social outcast to being a mere social failure. Right over there is a flock of geeks natural territory. Be very quiet. They're very shy. <laughs> Geekus Rex, as the name suggests, is the king of the geeks, the leader of the flock. Note the prominent canines and swagger that shows he's in charge. It is easy to spot Geekus Rex in the wild due to his magnificent plumage and distinctive call. As there must always be a leader in any society, geek or human or otherwise, there must also always be someone who sticks around but nobody really likes, but they're not really impolite enough to ask to leave. In that regard, here is Geekus Minimus, the smallest of the geeks. Geekus Technicus is the cleverest of the geek subspecies. His understanding of technology is almost absolute, rendering his contact with society almost nil. Known for universal poor posture and ghoulish complexion, Geekus Technicus is rarely seen away from his digital nest. He is also known as a Leet Haxor. Geekus Gamicus, the most playful of the geeks, is a sensitive sort, although this is hidden beneath a tough armored shell with foul language and aggression. His natural habitat is the spawn, where he is known to camp out to the chagrin of many others. The population of Gamicus fluctuates wildly in a fashion not completely understood by scientists, though some postulate this behavior to be connected to the release of certain digital entertainment products. Geeks Gigacticus acts as a sort of primitive spiritual leader, stoking the fires of imagination through the use of primitive rituals, which they call Dungeons and Dragons. Gary Gygax, this subspecies namesake, is a founder of this primitive religion. Those who worship the polyhedral idols. Recently, a new geek subspecies has been discovered, tentatively named Geekus Elusivus. He is indeed one of the most mysterious and enigmatic of the many geek subspecies. As for reproduction, no one knows. However, there are several theories. Being creatures of the earth, some think that they rise from the graves 
to wreak their terrible vengeance upon normal humanity. Perhaps most logically of all the theories is that they simply reproduce through fission. Oh, she did.